Hey guys, so this is part one of a live stream I did last Saturday, I believe, right before I left. I'm at the hotel again, um, and I've got plenty of Andromeda footage, so I'll be uploading that tomorrow, I think. Um, but I just wanted to throw this together because I've been threatening for a long time to do all the origin stories from Dragon Age Origins. And so this is my first time playing the noble origin, and it's a dude. I wanted to play a girl, but I also want to romance Morgan, so eventually this will maybe be the guy I romance Morgan with. But yeah, so, and the thing is about this, I just want to let you know, it's just, it's part one, the next one will be just about as long, it was just, you know, just did the intro, um, but I have to be using, I've been using XSplit for live streams because the Elgato stopped working, and the XSplit does a, not a very good job with the audio, so the audio is going to be a bit weird, um, it, it, it like doesn't regulate itself very well, so everything sounds a little bit louder and almost cracklier. I think. I don't like it very much. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to fix it. It's, I literally don't even know how to use it. I just couldn't use Elgato once and finally got the X split to work and I've never, I haven't messed with it. It's only been like a couple weeks that I've used it. So I do apologize for that. Um, everything, the game sounds clear and everything. You can hear it. You can hear me. But like my voice is like, it just doesn't regulate like the the pitching very well, so it's kind of weird. But I did my best with the editing. Um, hopefully you enjoy it. Again, this will just be a two part thing, so we can see the dude noble origin. So yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back to Andromeda ASAP. But I thought you guys might enjoy this, so thanks, and I will see you in a second. Scrap, scr Did I scream? Ah! There's, uh, there's no nothing terrible going on. I'm pretty- Other campaigns? Oh, that means that's Awakening, isn't it? Scream Queen, that's me. That's me! Hmm, maybe I will. That was, that was not the plan, but I like it. I like it. Let's see. If we're doing this for YouTube, we have to do the intro, too. A doom upon all the world. Hello, YouTube, if I'm gonna record this and upload it to YouTube later. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. Oh, Naprezu, pay attention! This is the beginning of the first game. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. I'm sitting here like my face in my hands, I'm like so excited, I'm like, yeah. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. The dark spawn. Blah. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us it's again true. and again until finally Origins we is so dark, like grim dark, compared to Inquisition. Army! Oh, this game was so scary. Until the Grey Wardens came. Rip the dwarves, seriously, to praise you. But here's the, the Grey Wardens! Barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness. Ah! And Apparently we are doing an origin story, some man flesh. Rain was like the second person on and he like was like more god romance and I was like hmm. Oh shoot, I forgot subtitles, I think. Or did, did we have subtitles? It has been oh, no, four okay, centuries since that victory. Killering! Welcome! 
while we have kept our vigil. We have watched yes, and waited your characters for the Dark warden in the to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. Forgotten. It's been too long since the last Dark Spawn. We are incursion. few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Did they really think they could sneak up on a Grey Warden? It Don't let him fall! Late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. No! You've never played this one, Killer Egg? This is a good one. Origins is a good one. Oh, Subby. Well, Rain, I got online, right? And I was like, I'm going to play my Danish elf that I already have made, you know? And then Rain was like, Morgan Romance? And I was like, hmm, this is very tempting. <laughs> so, so I, I'm making a, a noble, a human noble male to romance Morgan. We're at least going to do the origin story. I do get to customize. But no, Subby, Subby, you know how it is, though. You know how it is. I cannot, I can't do that. I can't just make a world state in the keep and not be intimately involved with the, with, from step one. I have to play it. I have to. Naprezi, my first character was a day, or was a, was an elven mage. But this time I'll be making just your... Wait, no, no. Actually, no. Wait, wait, wait. Dang it. Oh, you know, I actually... Okay, to be honest, so I'm not... Okay, here's the thing. I actually wanted to romance Morrigan with an elf... A city elf. A city elf, dude. So I might not... I... I oh, shoot. Oh, man. I was thinking about doing a human noble, but... I think I'd rather do... I kind of want to make a human female noble... Not a male, but I, and I remember thinking a long time ago that I wanted to make an elven male to romance Morrigan. Or a dwarf. What, uh, what do you, uh, I don't know. I was thinking, I know it's not going to make any difference in the, in the actual story, but I thought it'd be really interesting to romance Morrigan with an elf, because then the baby would perhaps be, you know... I don't know, more prone to magic or whatever, more closer to the, uh, to the fade and all, or the, was it the crossroads? Yeah, Subby, I've been playing Inquisition for, 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 for weeks now, I got back into it. The three race options are human, um, elf, and dwarf. And then you can be a warrior, mage, or a rogue. And depending on your background, you can be a Dwarven Noble, a Dwarven Commoner, a Human Noble, a Dalish Elf, a City Elf, and, or a or Mage. Human Noble is your... I'm, I mean, I feel like Human Noble is pretty... You know, it's like a Human Noble, right? You're like, bleh, you know? Especially a dude one. But... I don't know. I have the thing is, is I also want to play a female city elf, and so I'm like, eh, daddy. <laughs> but maybe be interesting to play to romance her with a uh, with a dwarf noble. What do you think? What do you guys think? I don't know. Decide, decide for me. Who do I romance Morgan with? Human noble, city elf, or? Dwarf Noble. Naprezu, this is the bane, one of my top two complaints with Origins. One of them is that you cannot romance Morrigan with a female, and it makes me cry all the time. It's like, I don't see the dynamic very well with a dude. I, I really can only see her with a woman, but that's just me. 
The other one is that I can't romance Stead. <laughs> That's my other pet peeve. I haven't. I, well, okay, I've played the Dalish Elf Origin, the Dwarf Commoner, um, and the, the Mage. And that's it. You're like a like, city elf and dwarf commoner. But human noble is pretty good. But yeah, I know mages, right, Sebby? <laughs> okay, city elf, human noble, male dwarf. <laughs> oh, <God>, no! <laughs> city elf. Mmm. I think some man flesh likes the the noble too. Blah. Okay, you know what? You know what? We don't have to decide the romance right now. I could just be a human noble, and then romance who I want eventually. Okay, I'll play human noble. Humans are the most numerous and the most divided of all the races. Only four times have they ever united under a single cause, the last being centuries ago. Religion and the Chantry play a large part in human society. It distinguishes them culturally from elves and dwarves more than anything else. Humans can be warriors, rogues, or mages. These are your racial benefits. Because this game is racist! No. So your racial benefits as an elf are plus two of power and magic. Elves... This is their background. Once enslaved by humans, most elves have all but lost their culture, culture scrounging an impoverished living in the slums of human cities. Only the nomadic, da nomadic Dalish tribes still cling to their traditions, living by the bow and the rule of their old gods as they roam the ancient forests, welcome nowhere else. Elves can be warriors, rogues, or mages. Dwarves cannot be mages. They are the only ones that can't be mages. They are rigidly bound by caste and tradition. Dwarves have been waging a losing war for generations, trying to protect the last stronghold of their once vast underground empire from the Darkspawn. Dwarves are very tough and have a high resistance to all forms of magic, thus preventing them from being mages. But they do get a 10% chance to resist incoming hostile magic. I know, right, Sabi? The music in this game. Blah! You can tell me I know! Okay, okay, so class, class, what should I be? Mm -hmm. I think... I can't, I'm not gonna be a mage. I can either be a warrior or a rogue. I don't think I've actually made a warrior yet. I think, I mean, my... My Dalish elf is a rogue, and my... My mage is obviously, my, 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 my... My elf is a mage, so maybe I'll play warrior. I haven't done that one yet. Born to worth, voila! Born to wealth and power, second only to royalty. You find your training in both diplomacy and battle put to the test as your brother leads the bulk of your family's forces to war in the. Oh, I didn't know that. Your brother leads the bulk of your family's forces to war in the south. I have a brother. Cool. Try talking to everyone. Oh, okay. Try clicking on them more than once. A lot of conversations. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm. I definitely am more of a warrior mindset. I I prefer to run and gun. The third option for what? Um. This is this is the warrior. This is the mage. And this is the this is the rogue. If you're a mage. I don't know. No, I think in Inquisition, if you're a mage, you'd come from a noble family as well, but not in this one. Talk to everyone now. All the questions. Okay, do not do the main objective until you do everything. Okay, this will be this will be a long origin story then. These are the other background stories, uh, Naprezu, but you have to be an elf for this one. This is the Dalish background. This is the. Ooh, is that the? That's the castless dwarf, the commoner dwarf. This is the city elf um, origin. This is the mage origin, and that is the dwarven uh, noble origin. Right, but I've already done the mage origin. If I'm a human mage, then I don't get to do the noble background. <laughs> so what's the point of even choosing a human noble? But I guess so I gotta do that to do the human noble. This is the way I gotta do it. Greetings. Greetings. Oh boy. All right. You know what? We're not gonna be some. That will look just like Cullen. Oh my gosh. 
We're not gonna be some namby pamby white boy. So many white boy options. What the heck? Skin complexion. I am so bad. I can't even tell. That one looks tired. Super tired. Very tired. So much tired. <laughs> very, very tired. Lots of being tired. I still have lines everywhere. Uh, how dark can we get? We're gonna be super dark. Yes! Killerang! Yes! This is the guy, whoever you make, is the fabled warden in, in Inquisition. Um, I played Inquisition first as well, but then I went back and played Origins in 2 later. And, and I really love Origins a lot. Real oh, no Dragon Age 2 genetics here! Dang it! Well, maybe I'll be the adopted bastard son or something. Ooh, we can do cool tattoos! Maybe I'll be half Avar or something. Oh, this is the tattoo that my uh, elf had. Pretty sure. Alright, I think I like this one. That, there you go. That one. I like that one. We'll probably we'll probably stick with black. Ooh, the blue is nice. I like the blue. <gasps> or purple. <gasps> I know, right? So emo. We're so emo. I do know you're a Kusland in Origins. Um. So yeah, you do. If you are a mage, you're related. But I think if you're a Kusland, you're related to. Aren't you related to somebody if you're a Kusland? I really like the blue and the purple. I'll go with blue. That's the tattoo intensity, that's fine. Hair! I mean, at least we've got dreadlocks, right? Is that like the- that's probably the only, like, legit hairstyle, right? Yeah, no. Okay. Only dreadlock hair, alright then. Oh my gosh, I don't think I'm going to do a beard. <laughs> no. Yeah. Eee. Eee. Bah. Oh, they're just so noble family? Okay, so they're probably related to everybody. You have a love-hate relationship with the Origins character creator? I don't blame you. Can we go with black hair? Let's see. Let's see what our op... Um, if brown, kind of a blonde... Red. If the red wasn't so garish, I might do it more. And if I could, like... Ooh, I could go with white hair, though. Ah! He looks like Sten, kind of. Oh, you tried to make a hawk look alike? Yeah, Killerang. The tattoos are... There's not a quite, quite a great variety. Mm-hmm. Oh, they are the Lords of High Ever? Okay, the Kuslins are. Hmm. Welcome, Zanko, by the way. <laughs> Tarjay! That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a Game of Thrones reference. Um. Hair. That's my hair. No beard. Uh. Should we go with white or black? I'm, I'm having a hard time. Eyebrows. I don't really care about your eyebrows. Oh, those are nice. Those are nice. He looks. He looks like he's gonna be a sweetheart, you know. Like he's got nice eyes. Kind eyes. Forgive me my trespasses. I must make this character. Stubble, oh boy. No. Oh my gosh.
What the heck? What did I- what did it have him on? Now he looks all clean shaven. I liked what he had before. What was it? Dang it. Eyebrows are paramount! Well, I tried to change his complexion, but it... It was kind of... Here, wait. We need to get rid of this. What is whatever's up with this stubble? He wasn't clean shaven before, like this clean shaven, was he? Like I thought he had like some stubble. I'm not even sure what that stubble's supposed to do. Where is it? It's like, I'm like, it's like not doing anything. Why the mutton chop? No, these are all terrible. He's gonna have to be clean shaven. What the heck? Yay! Thank you, Sebby! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yeah, uh, just, just, I'll yell for you, Subby, when I've finished messing around with everything. Oops. I like this preset, I think. Eyes! Okay, I think I like his eyes the way they were, but we'll, we'll just... The eyes are the most important to me. Those are good. Are there different eye presets for male and female? Doesn't seem to be as many options for the dudes. Okay, I can't decide between the second to last one and the second one. I like those. Those are nice. Those make his eyes look kind. Eye spacing. I don't mess with that. Eye color. Ooh. You can go with black eyes. Or green. <gasps> green. I kind of like the white hair too, though. I think Naprezi mentioned. Oh, man. I don't know now. No. He might look too much like Sten like that. No, wait. Does Sten have white hair? I don't know. What do you guys think? <gasps> Black Femme Eek! Hi! Marn. Oh man, I finally finished my soda. Okay, I can't decide. I can't decide between white or black. I'm having a hard time. Oh, uh, eyes. You may as well keep with the eye color. I do like the kind of grayish blue as well. Is that black or is that one? I think that one's black. No, I don't want to make him albino. I want to make him... He's black, but I want to make him... And I can't know if I want to make his hair white or black. Maybe... I kind of like the black. It makes him look younger. We have the black eyes. Maybe. I kind of like the green, too, though. Where is the green? I have a thing for green eyes. This is the color my uh, mage had. My elf had gray eyes. Kind of like the green eyes. Yeah, I like I like the black. I like the black hair too. I think I love white. I have a thing for white hair usually, but I think I'm gonna go with the black hair. Oh, nose shape. Which one? Which one is this one? So it's the it's the third one over. Oh, that looks weird. Um, 
I think I liked his nose the way it was. Yeah. So, one, two, three. Yeah. Either that or this one. Wait, no. Never mind. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Nose size. What is so that? Okay. Depth. Yeah, I like strong noses. Oh, make it stick out too far. Grammy, hi! I could deepen the sha I could deepen the shadows. I really you can. One of the skin complexions makes it so the shadows under his eyes is super dark. Yeah, we're doing the human noble. Look at my beautiful boy. Nostril width is probably fine. The way it is. Bridge depth is probably fine the way it is. Wait, wait, wait. That was like a sideways thing, right? Yep, okay. That was that's fine. Prominent nose, I like it. Bridge width is probably fine. Tip width. Oh, okay. I kind of misses with it. And tip depth. I still don't really know sometimes. I feel like some games, like, they kind of change a little bit what you do. A little bit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, tip depth. Hmm. I don't know. Is it ups or down? I don't know. Thank you, Grammy! He's basically just the preset. <laughs> the only black preset I could find. <laughs> With the only black hairstyle in the game. But. At least you got that. I don't think Inquisition had one at all. Uh, so we, and we can't change the mouth on this one. We can only change, like, lip size and stuff. Wait, so is that, like... Poofy or what? Oh, okay. Oh. Give him some full lips. Mouth width is so hard sometimes. Oh crap. Let's see. Right in the middle. Maybe. Ish. I like that. We had like, <laughs> we had two black presets and five types of ball. Yeah, well, I mean, skin type, yeah, but did we have any black hair? Like, I don't think Inquisition had that. Andromeda had a couple afro styles, which was nice. And the Canari got like dreadlocks, but I don't think the other race options got any sort of dreadlock option. But I can't remember. Cheekbone, oh frick, man! I don't mess with I don't mess with cheekbone. Do they not give you a makeup option for your dude? Do they really not give you a makeup option for the dude? Are you serious? What the heck? Don't they give you a makeup option for the girl? I remember distinctly making eyeshadow that matched my eye color with my female. With my mage. Of course I'll always create the most attractive male that I can. What the hey? No makeup for the freaking really? 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 <laughs> Every game gives a makeup option for dudes. It doesn't matter. It's more effort to take away the option than it is to just leave it in there. What the heck? How am I supposed to make excellent looking cheekbones with some subtle blush? I can't do that with cheekbone settings. I can only do it with blush. Uh, oh, apparently our cheeks are very sallow. Whoa. I like him, though. Okay. I uh, figure he looks fine. He's fine. Don't mess with cheekbones. Messing with cheekbones is the surest way to destruction. How will it exactly kill it? How am I going to enhance his beautiful lips without some subtle lip shading? What the frick? <laughs> it's practically the Dark Age. You're right, Subby. 2009. This was the Dark Ages. This game was revolutionary for its sex scene. 
<laughs> well, and it's so fun in Inquisition to make, like, some people made the most ridiculous makeup, you know, and that was always fun. Ear height. I don't know. His neck looks fine. What do you guys think? Oops. Mmm. We gave him super buff. Super steroidal. That's fine. Portrait. Oh, uh, look up or down. Um, turn. Yeah, that's your better side, I guess. Uh, sure. Ooh, we can put him over here. <laughs> right there. That's good. Up or down. <laughs> Just have him peeking over the edge. <laughs> it's so much funny that they put so much effort into the the portrait like appearance. I love it. Oh, there was Mass Effect One was like huge. Like there was so much contention over its like sex scene in two thousand seven. Back in ye old seven two thousand seven. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I for you know I forget that Origins is two years old or two years younger than Mass Effect because I legitimately think Mass Effect 1 has better graphics than Origins did. Dragon Age for some reason always seems like a few years behind in graphical quality. Expression? <laughs> oh, I forgot you can do that! <laughs> you can only do this on the PC version. <sighs> they had to make it tear you to the scandal of the Mass Effect sex scene. That's why in Mass Effect 2 we didn't get a sex scene and I was so mad! So mad! All we get is a weird fade to black and then you wake up. You don't even wake up, you're still like fully clothed laying in the bed. It's like you go through all the like, yes, let's sleep together. Then you just freaking, you just, you just lay in the bed, fully clothed. It's like, okay then! <laughs> the poor <laughs> His teeth, it looks like he has terrible teeth, which fits the age. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that one! Look at, why can't they actually, they put so much effort into the expression on the portrait machine! You don't see this expression in the game, ever! Here, we'll, uh, we'll, let's see, maybe we'll make him a bit tall. Yeah, he'll look tall. Brought in by an expert, so the game treats women as a sex object. Well, let me tell you, Caden's a pretty nice sex object, and he's a dude, so. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, so Manflesh, right? Right? You play the 360. Me too. I forgot you could do this, because I played the Dalish Elf, and I messed with that a little bit. But yeah. Witcher 3 is the worst, okay? I mean, it's the best, right? It's actually a really good game, but if you want to talk about a game that treats women as sex objects, The Witcher 1 and 2, to be honest. Witcher 3 is okay. It still treats them as sex objects, but it empowers them at the same time, so it's okay. <laughs> is Subby gonna appear? Don't, don't, don't appear from... <laughs> Subby's gonna, like, appear from the ether and be like, let me tell you. <laughs> I love this one. He's such a, he's gonna be a charmer. He's gonna be a charmer. I remember the news got, I, well, I don't remember like exactly when it happened. I remember reading about it later, like this, that the news went crazy over this sex scene in this game. And it's like, you literally see, I think, I think Liara's is the most raunchy and you see her, the side of her butt and maybe a little side boob. That's about it. That's about it. <laughs> I know these expressions are great. I'm loving it. The background. Let's see. Let's have a. Let's have a background. The world is exploding behind us. We're sinking in the water. We're. I love that purple one though. Ooh. I don't know why they give you so many background options. Let's do. I like that bright purple one. Yeah, look at that bright purple one. Right, say Black Fen Geek. Consider that the player character in Mass Effect can be a female. Right, and it treats women like objects. Yeah, I mean some of the NPCs they put they put in. I mean they. I guess you could say that the the Asari are treated as like uh, sex objects, sort of, but they're also like shown in like 
a lot of other lights is like, you know, being great diplomats and warriors and stuff. And I can see how like most, most media will objectify women at some point, but there's also really good, you know, you can be a commander, you know? Yeah. And you can be the first female NPC is a doctor and a major. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. I just played the game for the background and the expression option. Uh, it's so funny. Okay, okay. So now we get to pick our voice, right? Which we don't get to hear very often, but... I have lost the spell. You're not a mage! My weapon does nothing. I don't like it. How do you do? <laughs> Oops, where's my head? This is not good. Greetings. Wait, 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 wait! So, Manflesh, you said which one, which one is, uh, which one is, 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 um, is the, is the shepherd? Which one's shepherd? Well, that didn't work. Well, no, that was, that was, that was Zaid! That was Zaid! Well, this is odd. My weapon is useless. Yeah! Catch it, Zaid! <laughs> what? Move aside. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings! I've lost my concentration! Oh, God, I've lost my concentration! This weapon does nothing. Miss, are you serious? Mystical is? Really? I must get by. That doesn't sound like Commander. Wait, 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 wait. This is. Greetings. This isn't. This isn't. Well, that didn't work. Wait, okay. Greetings. Mystical Fenris. Mystical Fenris. Yes, it is. Blasted! I've lost the spell. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Re why? They put different voices for the elves. Really? What? What? For the elves! <laughs> it is unharmed. I might have to use Fenris's voice. Charmed, I'm sure. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> I lost the spell. I need something new. Coming through. That is, um... Jowan, and it throws me off. Greetings. Ah, my spell! My weapon does nothing! You're in my way. You're in my way. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that laugh! Oh my gosh! Don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. I like the violent, like the voice, but I don't. I he's not violent. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. I can't handle it though, Zaid. Zaid. <laughs> well, this is odd. My weapon is useless. I know, right? Why can you have Jowan's voice? It's so weird. Kagi? How do you do? Meh. Damn! Lost the spell! The only thing is that, um... Oh god, look at that. Look at the way his cheeks are, like... Like, right there, that angle. Whoosh! Um... The only thing is that I tend to use these as sort of a... Like, I base the personality of my character off of the voice, even though you, like, never hear it. Laura Bailey and Troy- Troy Baker is in every game, I swear to goodness. I swear to goodness. Greetings. I've lost my concentration! This weapon does nothing. Excuse me. Excuse me. Fare you well. Fare you well. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. Nolan North is the other one. You're right. I swear, like, they are literally, like, they're usually, like, the headliners, right? But I swear that they are probably paid on the jo like, as a joke to be, like, an a one-liner NPC in, like, every game. Charmed, I'm sure. No, I can't do Greetings. that. Ah, my spell! This isn't working! Need something else! You're in my way. Man. I don't really like hockey. Greetings. No, it is gone. I should do something else! I need by, please. I like wise. Till we meet again. <laughs> yeah, I like wise. I think that fits his personality better, too. I feel like he's like a... He kind of... He's like Boromir. Or not Boromir. Faramir. He's Faramir. That's kind of how I... See him in my head. 
Did they seriously black them? They played the, they played like Nathan Drake and his brother? No way. Safest pick is wise. Nice amount. I do like that one. Oh my gosh, Ray, that's so funny! <laughs> Matt Mercer! Yeah, he is everywhere! I was surprised to... Like, I played Overwatch a lot, right? And that's when I kind of was like, Ooh, Matt Mercer is cool, you know, but... Ida, hi! Long time no chat. It's welcome back. I think I... Look at this guy! Look at this Look at this guy that I made! Look at that! <laughs> I'm, like, pointing with my actual hand, too. I'm like, point! Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Look at my beautiful boy. My beautiful boy. All right. Um, is that how you spell it? I'm gonna call him Faramir. Or should I do like a good Dragon Age name? He could be the bastard son, right? So and he could be half Avar or uh, Chastened. I'm looking up Chase Engine names. Wee. The most important part, I know, right? I gotta be it. Uh. Do you Google his name for the games he's in? I know, I was kind of surprised. Okay, so the only list I think we have is Al or Avar names, not Chastened. Hmm. Oh my gosh, you have a new little nephew? Congratulations, Ida! Congratulations! That's really cool. I don't like any of the Chasen name or the Avar names that they've got. <gasps> oh, thank you. Yeah, it wasn't my birthday. I don't know. I'm gonna call him Faramir. I like it. What do you guys think? We can go back, I think. But all right. So we got a plus one in every area, I think. We're gonna be a warrior. Freaking, where's Frog Raider? Maybe I'll at him on Facebook. We'll see if it works. Frog Raider, I need you. My middle sister got married and that was exciting. It went well. I'm gonna at Frog Raider and see if he gets it. Cause he's on Twitter now. We are playing Origins and doing a new male noble. Come watch me fail. See if that works. Yes, 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 the dress trying, the dress trying. Yeah, I know, she was beautiful. Did I tell you guys that she has um an Arwen necklace, the Even Star? And she I got that for her from Comic Con like f a few years ago. And she basically um sort of themed herself around that. We got her I don't at Comic Con in our uh, in where we live, there's this place where you can get these amazing like hand like wired like twisted hand twisted wire crown tiara type things and she got one that matched at least matched most of the way her Arwen necklace and then she commissioned somebody to make her a cloak with blue velvet on the inside and white satin on the outside and she, and it had like a, her dress her dress had like little leaf like brooch like a like a like fake diamond pendants, you know? Two little leaf uh, pendants that were like on her little belt thing on her dress. And then the brooch on her, on her, um, cloak was, uh, it was like the same kind of diamondy sort of a leaf pattern. Oh my gosh, she was so pretty. You're glad, you're glad I'm staying positive? 
<laughs> you need to see photo, dude. I will, I will, I will maybe send you a photo. She, I'll ask her if she's cool with it. But she looked so good. She looked so good. And she like the cloak had like a hood, and then it started snowing, and it was ridiculous, and it was raining, and it was cold, and it was ridiculous, but it was very beautiful. It was very beautiful. Did she glow magically? No, but she glue from hap glue. Is that that's not even a word? Wow, she glowed <laughs> from happiness. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be a strong dude. Um, does. Okay, so cunning determines how well character learns and reasons. I want to be persuasive, so we are going to need some cunning. And we do need some... Okay, so, okay, so let's actually think about this really quick. Um, do I want to be a tank, or do I want to be the damage dealer? You want to marry her? <laughs> some that push I'll tell her! Oh my gosh! That's so snowy! It's not sweet! It was freezing! It was so cold! It was raining first, and then it turned to snow. And our photographer, to get the best photos, had to take her shoes off and stand in some, like, water fountain so that she could get the entire photo of all the families, you know? And she gets a freaking tip, I'll tell you what, she was great. All the cunning, yeah. I mean, maybe it will, I don't know, I don't know. I want to do cunning, he's gonna be smart, he's a smart dude. You know, if we're going off the Faramir thing, he won't be as strong, but he'll be very cunning <laughs> and intelligent and maybe tanky? Seriously, the life of a photographer. They can't kill you when you're dead. <laughs> we're going to be two, okay, two-handed work. So we could be the two-handed or the shield or the shield and sword, right? And I was trying to kind of think maybe who should we bring out with us. I don't... I personally don't really like Alistair. I realize he's a fantastic tank, but I don't really like Alistair. And I don't want to bring him out very often. Um, but Sten is my damage dealer, but a terrible tank. I know, I, I know, I know. Alistair, I mean, he's a cute little boy. He's a cute little naive, innocent little traitor. I understand. <laughs> no! I'm sorry, I just... Uh. The lands me has scarred me for life. The lands me... I liked Alistair up until that point, and I just felt really betrayed. I felt personally betrayed by what he did. Fog Raider, you made it! I was secretly stalling until you got here! Woo! Did you get my tweet? I added you. I, I added you, you know, with the little at thing? I did that to you. <laughs> But, okay, so, 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 I think I might not, I think I might make him the tank and bring Sten out as my damage dealer. What do you think? What do you think, Fragrant? He's my beautiful, uh, he's my, my bastard Kuslin. Because apparently your whole family is lily white, even if you make a black character. So, he's gonna be, I guess we're gonna make him the bastard son. And he's very smart. I named him Faramir because basically, if you want to know about his personality, it's Faramir. Um, he doesn't like violence, he doesn't enjoy it, um, he prefers, like, poetry and art, music, but he's really good at what he, he, he if he's a talented, you know, fighter when he needs to be. No, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ida. I'm so sorry, uh... I know, and that was the thing, Frog Raider, is I was like, it was really nice of you to get Twitter, but I, w I was like, I don't know if you're going to check it very often. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, I don't know. I mean, he's going to be a warrior, so his strength does need to be up, but I might just make, I might put some, most of his points into Constitution. Or, or right now, and make him the tank. Uh, I just got turned out. No, no. The family will love him just as much. Good. I'm glad. Because I didn't like Faramir's dad. Faramir's dad was a jerk. Didn't realize what he had till he lost it. And then he was an idiot. And I think, you know, I, I say I stalled until Frog Raider got here. But Frog Raider doesn't tell me how to do anything when I'm live streaming these. He just sits back and lets me, lets me bumble along. Because <laughs> that's how you learn, dang it. 
This is fine. It's fine. Really high constitution already. It's fine. We're gonna get coercion. Oh good, we have... Good, we're already at second level combat training. Okay, so we're doing... We're doing the human noble origin story. And I was thinking about romancing Morrigan with this guy. Um... I honestly can't really think of anybody else I'd want to romance. I kind of wanted to romance her with an elf, but a human noble will be fine. Um... But yes. I can't, I can't that that's useless to me right now. There we go. I still I have like a I still have a bunch of mods installed that I don't fully understand, that's right. You know, I was thinking Severin, but I've already romanced Severin. But they would look really good together, wouldn't they? I mean just look at them. They would be so pretty. It's true, Denethor, Denethor was a really good ruler, well, you know, um, was steward at one point. No, I haven't romanced Leliana, but I want to romance her with a girl. <laughs> but I don't know, we'll see. He might just flirt with everybody and we'll just see where it goes. That could be fun. I could do the triple combo, you are so right. Okay, and we're being a warrior, Frog Rider. We're being a warrior, and we'll be probably... I guess... If I'm gonna be the tank, I should probably be sword and shield, right? I prefer the two-handed approach, though. Me. Like, I prefer, like, it's more fun. I don't really like the sword and shield, or the sword and shield stuff. Sleep with Morgan and Zevran and end up with Liliana. <laughs> Two handed is boring, really? Gives the best. Yeah, we'll be. We'll just be a giant flirt. That's what we'll be. Two handed is boring. This, but the sword and shield seems so boring. You don't get to do much. All you do is like use your shield to like. Really? You like Sword and Shield? Maybe I'll give it a, maybe I'll give it a chance then. Oh, I could be an archer. And I could go the dual weapon route. That's true. I could do that. It's funny out of door. Oh, double bladed rain. That's what you were saying. Hmm. Mm hmm. I'll probably get a passive. Uh, no, you can't though. I mean, if I mod it, maybe, but Origins is the only one where you can't redo. In two, in Inquisition, you can, but in Origins, you cannot. I think I'll get that passive. Dual weapon would be fun. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll try sword and shield. We could do shield, pummel, overpower. That's cool. Shield mastery. Take the first line, this one right here. That's what I thought. It builds your threat, like it makes it so that people will uh, come to you and deal damage to you. Right? Yeah, threaten and bravery. Okay, I can't get that one yet, but I will build that line. Okay, thank you. No, some man flesh. I mean, you could buy books to get extra points, but Intimidation, the Threatened one? Maybe I might show Shield Defense, character on a defensive stance, gaining a bonus to defense, takes penalty to attack. Hmm. Enemies can no longer flank the character on the shield's carrying side. That's interesting. 
Kimberly would like to have a word with you. <laughs> okay, I think I might grab um, this next this uh, shield pummel so that way I can at least have two active abilities. Or no. Yes. So I have a passive. And then I have an active ability, but I don't have a sustained one yet. This is a, this is a sustained one I could get. And I do like getting this first line on the weapon, and, or like on the first line on any uh, specialization done as soon as possible. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it on normal because I'm a wimp. Uh, ah, should I do it on hard? I don't know. I mean, that's some man flesh. That's what I do with my mage. I put my points all over the place. It gave people aneurysms, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like, I still I occasionally get comments on that series, and they're like, I know it's too late. They're like, but what in the frick were you doing? I'm like, I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shut up, Rain. I know it's been an hour. Shut up. I'm gonna do normal. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's true. For right, generations, right. your family, the Kuzlans, Ooh. has stewarded the lands of Hyava, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the Crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, ah! and we can march tomorrow. That's right! I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. Hi, Dad. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. Oh, I'm dark sorry, humor, Daddy. You see <gasps> How? You remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. <gasps> it's my dad! It's my dad! Sleep with the elf girl? Oh, okay. Only only if it's not weird. I don't want to, like, take advantage of her. Why am I a different color? Okay, I, I basically, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be a bastard, so, but we'll see. Uh, pleased to see you again. Um... Is your family? Oh, we could maybe know Nathaniel, right? I mean, this is right. Like, uh, oh shoot, is audio still out? Of is audio out of sync for everybody? Boop 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 boop. Oh, really? It's not out of sync for me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Whew. Maybe try reloading the stream, Subby. I hope it's not. Oh, jeez, that'd be terrible. Cause I'm gonna just rip this from Twitch eventually. Uh, is your family here? Oh no, I left them in Amaranthine, well away from the fighting in the south. They do send their best wishes. My daughter Delilah asked after oh, me, buddy. perhaps I should bring her next time. Ha 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 Um... Uh... <laughs> Oh, right, right. It refers to the daughter. Right, right, right. Um, I'd like that. Good. She goes on about your prowess as a warrior. <laughs> I think you have an admirer, young man. Uh, At any you. rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of Me? the castle. Me? Uh, are you certain? What's involved with such a task? Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away. Yes, Dad. Oh my gosh! 
There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. Huh. Is that... Oh. <laughs> it sounded like he beat on a hollow drum. If yeah, the mod's working! All, Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. You're darn right at a disadvantage, we little worm. We really have the pleasure of seeing one in person. That's true. Pup, Brother Aldous. Why is my name Pup? I'm in love. Pope. Brother Aldous. Oh my gosh! I had a tutor. Oh my gosh! What the heck? This is amazing. Ah, uh, they defeated the Darkspawn long ago. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Oh, me? Although though that might be, this is one of my sons. Ah, oh, Daddy's like, no. Mm-hmm. Is there a reason I shouldn't join them? You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have My no dad fear. loves me! While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure I'm that Duncan's dying. requests are seen to while I'm gone? I'm dying! He has a nickname for me? Like, what the heck? This is a bit so mad, but hi, Sashu! Welcome! Glad you can make it! We're playing Origins. I haven't played this origin story yet. I do, of course, I know some things because I know who How is, and now I have an inkling, I think, of of things, but I don't know. Uh of course. In the meantime, I'm a good son. I'm not a I'm not a little brat like you guys are. To lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. You, you guys said that you like to be a little brat in this scene, but I'm going to be a good son. Uh, I'm not done talking. Well, no. Mm -mm. I'm not talking to you yet. No, oh, I'll be. I'll be a good son. Where is Fergus? My only daughter. Oh my god. Ooh, yeah, the Sir Gilmore companion mod. You're like, Dad, back off! <laughs> I see, that's the thing, is I actually really wanted to play a human female noble, um, but I, I think I'm gonna like, I'm, I'll probably, I'll make a human female too, because I know that there are some differences. I think with a mage, there's not a whole lot of differences between the genders. Um, Dalish elf, I don't think there is. I know for a fact the city elf Dalish origins, or the city elf origins are completely different, or very, very different. If you're male or female. So on those ones for sure I'm going to be making eventually, you know, each gender and stuff. I am. I have not played any of the human origins yet. I am too elf-centric. I definitely am. Where's Fergus? Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Um, that was kind of weird. Um... All my mods, or all my DLCs and stuff are coming in too as well. Oh, whoops. Hi, I have our father's task. Can I, okay. Taryn Bryce Kusland. Shouldn't you be off to your brother, as I ask? Um, are you sure you'll be alright? Your brother and I go into battle. Not an afternoon tea. Who knows what will happen to us. I will tell you, however. <gasps> You're my cherished son. <gasps> I love you. And I trust you completely to carry on the Kuzlin name if the worst should happen. But don't worry about oh me, Oh my dear gosh! Boy. You'll have enough to occupy your mind while I'm gone. Uh, sending all our forces south, a good idea? When the king demands it. In fact, not sending our forces south <laughs> would be a distinctly bad idea. <laughs> don't worry, pup. You shouldn't see many problems. But I want you to prepare the men left here. In case. The City Elf, yeah. Ooh, the City Elf one is hard. I haven't played it yet. I started watching it once, and I was so traumatized, I couldn't, I couldn't even, I knew where it was going, and I couldn't finish it. Pup, 
I know I'm dying. Case of what? Legends of the Blights tell of horrible things. These darkspawn once threatened many lands. If we can't hold them, you must prepare for the worst. Uh, I'll do my best, Father, I swear it. I know you will. You are a Kuzland, after all. Oh my gosh. But let's not speak of ominous things. We shall assume that all will go well, and the Maker will watch over us. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Just Is Fergus my, my brother? Alright, maybe I'll talk to you. Yes? Yes! Yes! How long have you and Father been friends? We fought together under King Marrick when he drove the Orlesians out of Ferelden. Heady times. The years since have not held the same promise. He looks if so it comes evil! To would understand. It will be good to ride beside your father again. Look at how evil he looks! You knew King Merrick. Your father hasn't spoken about time with him? That man took care of his friends. As they say, he was large as life and twice as tall. <laughs> <laughs> too bad Kalen isn't half that. Oh boy, you don't obviously think much of King Kalen. I think of him as much as he thinks at You're all. You're being very That's treasonous. You speak of our king. Oh, the boy did ask, your lordship. As per the latitude you allow, I merely offered my opinion. Well, geez. I need to do the Viva. No, go! I'll probably get very emotional. Uh, I trust the delay with your men is nothing serious. Poor weather, I believe. Their progress has been slow, but it's nothing you need worry about. You told my father the delay was your fault. In a manner of speaking. If I had reinforced our border levies earlier, my troops could have left before the rains. I confess, my confidence in your father allowed me some complacency. I guess that makes it as much his fault. <laughs> your daughter's interested in me. The topic has come up from time to time. The young and their infatuation. Do you even talk to her? I got the impression that Delilah didn't like me. I'm sure that was years ago. People change. To be honest, I have no expectations. And your father seems determined to let you find your own way. Ha -ha. If something did happen, well, we'd address it as befits a family of our stature. Indeed. We'll see. I'm sure there will be much to discuss once I return. You do talk to yeah. When she marries a um, like a cobbler or something, I should go. <laughs> Another time, then. Okay, Duncan. I'm sorry, but I believe your father wishes to talk to the Arl and myself alone. Uh, I was hoping I could ask you a quick question or two. Very well. I doubt your father. Will oh, you're very accommodating. Thank you. Uh, a quick question or five. Are there really dark spawn in the south? Indeed. We spotted a horde assembling in the Korkari Wilds not three weeks ago. Luckily, King Kaelin took us at our word and marshaled Ferelden's forces quickly. The first battles have already been fought. Your father and I must move quickly. Uh, how many dark spawn are there? Thousands. Perhaps ten thousand or more in this horde. Normally, the dark spawn stay in the deep roads. It bodes ill that so many risk the surface. How much danger are Fergus and my father in? Well, I understand the first battles have gone easily. Indeed. Are the Grey Wardens sure this is a blight and not simply some large, darkspawn raid? No archdemon has been sighted yet, my lord. But with my entire soul, I believe this is a blight. I wish we shared your faith. I suppose we shall see for ourselves. Once we arrive at the king's camp. Oh, the question. So the real question is, are you my real dad? It doesn't matter if he's my real dad. He loves me. Um. Did you really come all this way to see Sir Gilmore? I have only found a couple of worthy candidates in my travels across Ferelden. Your father invited me here, suggesting this Sir Gilmore. 
If he is not suitable, I will head south and join up with the king. You know the king? Not well. King Kaelin is an eager young man who has shown great wisdom in responding to the Darkspawn threat. I've heard he is a bit enraptured with the Grey Warden legend, and that is why he caters to your order. How? That is unworthy of you. He only repeats what we've all heard. Whatever the king's reasons, I'll huh. take his support. Duncan's a very priority smooth is man. Defeating the darkspawn before he doesn't care what it is as long realm. as he can defeat the darkspawn. Would you really recruit me into the Grey Wardens? Of course. You are young, skilled, and obviously responsible if your father is willing to turn his castle over to you. The Grey Wardens do not recruit simply anybody, and I intend no flattery when I say you show promise. The old treaties allow me to conscript you even against your father's wishes, but I will not do so. Our order is too small to And they were just allowed permission. Nobility. I'm glad I am to hear it. Yeah. It's tempting, your lordship, but I'm content to see what other candidates your castle offers. Um, the wardens were just allowed back in Ferelden recently. Until we speak again. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie, Smokey. I wish we could have more time with Duncan as well. He's a really cool character. Uh, I'm gonna see if I remember how to walk around. Good evening, my lord. Hi, right, guard. Hi, guard. Plot helpers. Okay, cool. That's nice. Exploration. Yay. Okay. How guard? How guard? Greetings, my lord. Oh! You are the Terran son, are you not? Oh, we can talk to the how guard. Um. And how is it that you don't know who I am? I am a member of Al Hal's personal guard. The rest of the Al's forces are expected tonight. I understand you shall take charge of your father's castle once we march. You should know who I am, though. Um, so I'm told, yes. Ah, then I wish you luck. Good evening, my lord. You are so evil. Good evening, my lord. Good evening, my okay, lord. Okay, so you can't talk to you guards. Okay. Oh, one second. Okay, sorry about that. Little visitor. Um, but yeah, I named him Faramir because that's, that's, that's his personality. Basically. Okay, so these guards... Nah, okay, so then we're gonna go, I don't know, which way does it want me to go? Because we're not gonna go that way. I shall do it. I shall do it. Woo, this is a nice place. Trying to get some set did I settle into 100 happiness? Oh my gosh. Okay, stay away from Fergus's room. Okay, okay, let's see, where's the... He's right here? Okay. Wow, this is a big place. All right. Not played some of these in ages? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I've never played this one, so we'll see. This must be a door to outside. Look how tall I am. I'm not used to playing such a tall character. Oh, I can't- It's a fish and skill. Good Hi. evening, my lord. Good evening, okay. my lord. Um, ooh. This is a foggy place. Can I loot that? No? This looks like an alienage. Hi. Good evening, my lord. Door? Door! Door! Where are we? Are we in, are we in like, the city? A lot of doors are, are locked. That is, that is proves I'm an elf player! <laughs> yep! I'm not used to playing such a tall character! The chest is locked. It shall be now. done. It can't be done. Ooh, a chess match. Wait, um, is it tab? Yeah, tab shows me of the things that are in the area. Uh, uh, oh, that Duncan is cold in the city, in the city elf. Duncan can be very cold. Do not. He seems. He seems very kind, and he can be, but he's also 
Oh, hello. Uh, we will be up very late tonight giving the Arl's men proper quarters. If any of them bother you, let me know. I'll kill them. The Terran and the Arl are supposed to leave before dawn. It'll be a long night. You have a braid! Can I have a braid like that? I don't think you can. Right? Rogues really do have an advantage, and they're like, Oh, just get a key! Blah, blah, blah! I'm like, there's no keys, ever. Don't lie to me about keys. Uh, that's, that's into the castle, it looks like. Back into the castle, maybe. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. This is a maze. Okay. Whoa. Alright. This is wow. This is good. Whoa! You Your mother told me the turn had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, it's Sir Gilmore! Hey! Um. Uh, hello to you too, Sir Gilmore. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens <gasps> in uproar once again. Yeah! I get a dog! I get a dog! Uh, did the dog get into the larder again? No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. Um, he knows better than to hurt anyone. I'm not willing to test that. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not this to This man is like the prettiest Greek of course, that means statue he's ever. Bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled. Wait, Shall what? I? Really? Okay, I will check the I will check the room. Uh, where's my mother exactly? She was entertaining Lady Landra and her son when I left her. Perhaps in the atrium? Uh, before we go, my lord, might I beg a question? I've heard from several people that a Grey Warden is here. Is that true? Uh, his name is Duncan. I met him. Then, is it also true that this Grey Warden was asking after me? Uh, he intends to test you for recruitment. Maker's breath. Are you certain? Can you imagine me, a Grey Warden? It will be everything I've dreamed You're gonna I've die, aren't you? You're of gonna die. I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Pardon my outburst. Mischief in the larder. Your dog is normally named Drago. He is a Greek statue. Look at him. He's like got the most chiseled face I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Whoops. Um. Did he? So I can I go over here? Is my doggy in here? It just looks like a kitchen to me! Get that bloody mutt out of the larder! But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves, I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you! Ah! That bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Uh... Don't talk about my dog like that, jeez! That's why the Sir- I mean, he looks kind of bland to me, but, you know, Sir Gilmore, but... Hey, Brian! How's it going? <laughs> Pretty good! We're playing a new origin story. Uh, he's not a mongrel, he's a pure-blood Mabari. Perhaps you should lock your larder tighter. If I locked it any tighter, we couldn't get in. Oh, dear. Mistress, calm down, please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. Nan, please. We'll get the dog. Calm down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. She's mean. Why are you talking to me, young man? That wretched creature is likely eating my beautiful roast as we speak. Uh... I can't help it if my hound is too smart for his own good. That hound should be in the kennels, not wandering the castle. Just get the beast out. I can't make anything if I can't get into the larder. He wouldn't hurt any of you. Pop 
puppy. My my darling doggy. Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? Oh, he's so proud of himself. <laughs> uh, trying to tell me something, boy? It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? I saw a mouse hole. I saw a mouse hole back there. You can always go bark spawn. Nice frog raider! Bark this next bit you eat what? Oh god! What's a good... Um, you know, what's a... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, let me think, 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 let me think. Um... I might name him after a chastened uh, god of some sort. What? Why won't? Why not? Why won't I let me reach the wiki? What the heck? Lost girl, bark spawn. Yeah. Harkon. Harkon's a good one, and that's Avar. Um. So I guess what are the? We could go with Avar gods, I guess. Avar gods. Hark. Uh, Hakon. It's not Har. Ha. Ha. Harkon. No, it's Hakon. <laughs> Yeah, we only know... Uh, I think the Chastened worship more spirits -y types things, but... So we have... So we have Hack on for sure. And then we have the Lady of the Skies. And... What the heck? Okay, here we go. Where are the words? Korth. We have Korth, the Mountain Father. He's the eldest and the strongest. Lady of the Skies. Hakon. Sigfrost. Imhar. Uvola. Um, I might name him Korth. Fen Harlan. Hesarian. Those are queens are good names. Please name him Lady of the Skies. Oh my gosh. Loki would be good. I think I'm gonna name him Korth. I like Korth. So, no, God, you guys are the, No, we're not naming him Fenrir or Solis. We're gonna name him Korth. <laughs> Dreadful. Not Flemeth either. He's not Flemeth. No, I name him Korth. The Mountain Father. Oh, God. Ah, wait. No, no, how do I. Yeah, uh, freaking buttons. Attack that one. Attack that one. We must fight. Let us do it Attack quick. that one. This is. Oh, why am I having such a hard time? Do it! They're like one hit each. I can't hit them fast enough. Oh, God. So many dead monkey. Monkey? I don't know. Rats. It's like the start of every bad adventure. Time. Oh, oh, my God! God. <laughs> the hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. Gosh! Meet my new female dog. So <laughs> yes. Give you a giant spider any day ever. But that was so funny. That was like nearly fourth wall breaking. <laughs> uh, it's, those were very large rats. I've seen larger. They come up from the Kakari wilds sometimes. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isles men. Oh, okay. So we're done with you now. Good boy, but now I have my doggy. Except I have the mob where my do. dog can become a fourth, uh, or, uh, yeah, fourth companion. You're welcome, you nasty old lady. I don't like you. We talk bad about my dog. We are not friends. We have any books or anything we can read? I feel like I'm missing things I can read. Oh, wait, let's see. 
Bubby. Oh, don't pee in the larder. Don't pee. You just rescued the larder. Uh, do you see anything interesting? Ooh, a slightly dirty pair of silk pantaloons. Uh, we might have to show the cook these and be like, hey, uh... Ha-ha! <laughs> One can never have too many pairs of pantaloons! <laughs> yep, this, that was awesome! I have found a gift! Why do I have dirty underwear? I don't want dirty underwear. Lady, I don't even... I don't want to be carrying around her dirty underwear. See, I'm assuming there it's There he hers. is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast note. Lady! Pouch. Chill out! Uh, actually, he was defending your larder from rats. Big ones. What? Rats? Not the large gray ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See? Now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Uh, my faithful warhound made sure it's safe. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into the Oh my god, way. how- no- What?! Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then. Oh Take these my and don't say that gosh. anyone ever gives you anything. Bloody dog. Oh. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. Sorry, I left it a mess in there because I wanted there to be proof that we uh, that we actually did it. Oh wait, let's uh, talk to her again. Thank you again for your help. Now, if you'll just hold on a moment. Yes. One second. Okay. Origins definitely had some golden lines. Uh, do you, I'm in a hurt. Do you know what? I'll just get. <laughs> I'll just get. Adney, get moving with those casts. And Kath, do you think you can serve that to the turn with dirt from the floor all over it? Miserable old bat. <laughs> old bat, am I? We've got to work double time on supper. Sweep out the hearths and no complaining. <laughs> uh, busy day. Just keeping order. That's why your father keeps me on. The good maker knows I needn't take care of you anymore. Thank you for coming to your old nanny's rescue. That blasted hound is more trouble than he's worth. Lady! He is. No, it's not! You love him! And don't start with me. You've gotten all you're getting today. But she, what about you, my lord? She complains... You're keeping safe and well-behaved, I hope. Oh, well, for... Nan, na now, now she's pulling the nanny act and I can't help but feel soft, you know what I mean? Just a bit, she's a good person, just a bit of an old thing. Well, the thing is, she can't complain about the dog getting into the larder and eating if she's feeding him scraps. Uh, right. When Stan bribes Carol, Carol, I didn't know, Stan bribes Carol? She's a, she is, I mean, you gotta, the old ladies, man, you gotta watch out for the old ladies. Like, they are hardened and they will freaking, they will do what they need to. You know what I mean? I never mess with old ladies. They're scary. Why would I err no? Uh, of course. Good. I'm not exactly privy to your goings-on now that you're grown. Just an old nanny, never invited to your father's fancy meetings. Do you remember <laughs> that bedtime tale I used to tell you? The dog that bit? Uh, I remember it. Good. Then you can start. Oh, boy! Oh no, before our fathers, fathers came down from the mountain. Once upon a time there was a dog and he bit somebody. And the dog in their murky world, there was a smelly cook. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would be boring. I'm a good boy. For Stand to Bribe Carol, you can't bring Morgan or Leliana. Really? Really? What the heck? There's so many little gems in this game that I didn't know. I love this game. So good. I'm gonna go with this one. Before our father's fathers. Maybe maybe he's not a bastard son. Maybe he just has a lot. Maybe there's a line somewhere. Because, like, the Alamari, like, all the Feraldin, Chase, and Ava were all Alamari at one point. They still they still are. They just, the, the Feraldins have sort of separated themselves, you know. Um, but then we still have the Avar that live in the mountains, and we have the Chase and that live in the Korkari wilds, you know. Morgan is the best. Bruce the boy, what? Before our father's fathers came down from the mountains. A warhound was born to the elder bitch of a tribal chief. What a title that is, they elder bitch. They named him Hahaku and gave him everything. What? He grew up I want to change my dog's name. Destined to be the partner of the chief's eldest I son. I want to change, I want to change, I want to change his name. 
Oh, crap. Uh, the dog found the idea tedious, and Hohaku grew prideful, and Hohaku wanted nothing to do with it. Uh, I want to say, and Hohaku grew prideful. That's kind of, that kind of works along the, like, oral tradition, like, um, it, it, it fits into the template, the, like, uh, the cadence of the rhythm, you know? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. The young hound yes! became arrogant, taking food from his kin and warning them, in the way of dogs, that the chief's family would punish them if they tried to attack him. Years passed, and the time for the chief's son to take a warhound came closer. Hahaku's pride swelled, and many of the people of the tribe came to the chief, quietly whispering of this dog's bullying. With each complaint, the chief saw only Hahaku's strength and pride, and sent his people away. But as his son grew, the chief watched more closely. The day might come when his boy's life would depend on this dog. If the humblest of his people would not trust Hahaku, how could he? Ooh, that's a good ruler then. Thank you, thank you. I was I'm very good. If I was a linguistic anthropologist, things I probably would have been. I probably could have given you a lot more scientific discussion of the words. But as it is, I only have intuition. <laughs> um, I'm thirsty. Hohaku's own misdeeds bit him, so he made a weaker dog his son's partner. Stranger and I chose no. This one, this one again fits better. Hohaku's own misdeeds bit him. When the day came. Hahaku sat proudly, waiting to be called, but the old chief chose Hahaku's brother as his son's hound. Hahaku was shamed, but felt no remorse. So oh. great was his rage that he darted wow. across the fire pit and bit the chief's hand. That was a mistake. The chief and his son struck at Hahaku, cursing him. The hound ran into the village, seeking shelter in the tents and kennels. The other dogs snapped at him, and the tribe's people threw stones at him. Before the chief could reach him, the tribe had torn Hahaku apart. Oh, wow. Now, what should you carry from this tale? Oh, God. I had a nanny and a tutor. What the? Linguistic anthropology of Tandy Tag Brian. I swear you find these on, an, on a website somewhere, but I think, you, I think you make them up, and that's amazing. That's a skill in and of itself. Don't abuse, abuse your power. How you treat the least is remembered by the greatest. The weak pull down the strong when they can. No one is above justice. Respect all equally. Old nurses tell boring stories. Um, how you treat the least is remembered by the greatest. Maybe. I like that one. True. Hahaku thought nothing of abusing the tribe and their dogs, but their complaints showed the chief he could not be trusted. But you're far too old now for an old woman to be reminding you to watch how you behave. Hmm? Um, why did you tell me that story? It's a story worth repeating. That's all. Be oh, off with okay. you then. Tell your brother farewell before he rides off to war. Hmm, I could maybe read into that story. She probably knows a lot of the goings-ons that she doesn't really, you know. Oh god, why? It's so fast, jeez. Maybe I'll just, I'll just use the, these buttons. Otherwise I will make myself sick. Okay, so we've been to the kitchen and the pantry, and the we came from here, and we went out this door. I don't think we went in there. Maybe I should go back that way. Did we go down this hallway as well? I want to make sure. I know this might be tedious, but I do want to make sure I get everything. So I did go in here. These doors are open. This is the castle. Okay, I'm going to go... Oh wait! Look, look! Is that that's my mother? And I think my fa i think I saw in the cutscene that my father's over there. Yeah. So this is my mother. She's beautiful. I love her hair. She's beautiful. And this is my dad. When he was younger. A little more, a little less gray in his beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll be exploring everything. Don't worry. I just want to make sure I get all the rooms. I don't know if I went in this one. Oh wait, this was the locked one. That's right. That's right. Okay, so we went over there. Those are both locked. They're both locked. Okay, and then we went out here. Hopefully all the rooms I've been in, their doors stay open. Because that's a good marker for me. A good visual marker. I will definitely visit her. She's probably... They, they said the atrium. But he, apparently she might be in the chapel. Oh no, before I see my mother, go to the chapel. Okay, 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 okay. I see. Okay, okay. So we've been all through here. 
And we need to go... So there's the... Okay, we don't want to go there yet. We want to go to the chapel first. Which is way over here. Okay, so we'll kind of explore. We'll go, we'll go around over here. Whoop. And then it was down this way? No. We've been down there. Good evening, that's my lord. That's the atrium, I think. Or no, that that's not the atrium. Let's go in here. Oh, this is just the dining hall. Do you know how Bryce and Eleanor met? Your mother is on the steps leading to Fergus's room. Oh, oh, okay. So she's not... She's not in the atrium. Okay. So she's on the way, and I, I know I'm not doing Fergus's mission until the end. But, so then I can go into the atrium and be free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the kitchen and the atrium. I'll go into the atrium if she's not in there. Go, go, wait, no, that's the steps to Ferguson's rooms, apparently. Oh, boy. Um. Oh, it would be. Yeah, so there's Ferguson right there. So if I go this way, that's the only way to get to Ferguson's room. Okay. Whew! Whew! All right, so we're going in. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to the library first. This is the library. Hello. Oh, children, and a scholar. Oh, it's my tutor. Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. Um, still the same taskmaster, I see. If the mind is not exercised, it withers just as the body does. Perhaps you'd care to join me in teaching the lesson? Um, I'm quite familiar with the subject matter. Perhaps you could make the topic more palatable for these lads and their minuscule intellects. Ah, <laughs> uh, very well. Wonderful. The Coosland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? Um. Oh, interesting. We predate the founding of the kingdom, yes? Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm oh, between geez. your ears, young man. Um. It's your skill as a tutor, of course. If I were truly a skilled tutor, I expect <laughs> I would not encounter such. Insouciance amongst my pupils. You can look that up later. <laughs> At any rate, your family has held the tourneur of High Ever since before King Callan had united Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elethea Kuslan battled Callan had to maintain High Ever's independence. Uh, and Callan had let us keep the tourneur. Callan had wished to unite Ferelden, not conquer it. After Elathea's men were defeated, Callan had asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial Ooh, that's of that cool. event. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, we opposed the king. Well, the Kuslans are ardent royalists now, but at that time, Callan had was unknown and considered dangerous by many. When Callan had's army reached High Ever, Tierna Elethea led the local bands against him. Obviously, Galen She was run. cool! Yeah! She was cool! Uh, kids in the game, they do look absolutely silly. What's the name of the mod I use for the warden armor? I don't know. <laughs> uh, if you look up, if you look up just a warden armor for Origins, let me see if I can find it. Uh, let me see if I remember the name. Armor Dragon Age Origins. I think it's the Grey Wardens of Ferelden on the Nexus Mods website. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, paste. I think it's that one. Mom was literally a pirate. Was my mom a pirate? It was Terran uh, of the high of high ever the uh, the Terranier or whatever her Terna, 
Terna. Was Terna the... She Was she a pirate? <laughs> You're welcome, Seshu. It's great. It's funny, though. If you do it incorrectly, and it tells you that the, the mod... Like, the, the mod maker is super, super helpful. Um, but they do say if you, if you do it wrong... Um, the the it, you'll you'll know you've done it wrong because um the basically Duncan will be butt naked, he'll be butt naked for every cutscene that he's in, <laughs> and to, and then uh anybody who was supposed to be a warden, including the two guys you see at Ostagar, they'll also be butt naked. <laughs> so you have to make sure. I think what you have to do is you have to install it before you start before you see Duncan. It has to be installed before you see Duncan. My mom was a pirate! I need to reread the worlds of Thetis. Jeez, that's awesome. When was our line founded? I'm a pirate! Egg. But the Kuslins became Tians during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Yeah, I remember something about an age in there. <laughs> every day I pray to the maker that my lessons will stick, <laughs> and every day he tasks me a <laughs> At that time, your family oh my gosh, had only she's the beautiful. minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mathakusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty, making him their turn. Interesting. That seems pretty bloodless. Oh, you're right, you're right. Oh, crap. I do need... Okay, I have it up. Uh, I have that one up as well. I do need to get that one in installed. Oh, da 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 da, because it fixes some of the dialogue options, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, I will definitely be doing that. Hopefully, I'll have time after after playing this today to do that. Bryce led a group of ground troops stationed on Eleanor's ship. Uh oh, not stream friend. <laughs> Better say, woo! Guess what? The, apparently, there's an error. Oh, adult only. Oh, I'm not logged in. I have to log in. Okay, doggy. Yeah, probably not stream friendly. Who, oh, buddy? <laughs> Tell about our relationship with Arl Howe. The history between the Kuslans and the Howes reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. Uh, go on. During the rebellion against Orlais, several battles were fought near Hyever. The port village of Harpers Ford was the Turnier's center. Its Arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly 90, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. <laughs> Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but Howe sided with Orlais. Your family was forced to seize Harpers Ford before it was all over. Hmm. Uh, we, my father and all Howe are old friends. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion. When all of Ferelden united behind yeah, King Merrick and General Yeah, when it became easier. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan, to fight the Darkspawn. And the sea wolf he took for a servant last <laughs> What the heck? What? Was her name Sea Wolf? Oh my gosh. Time to end the lesson, I Thank think. Thank you for indulging an old man. You're welcome. Uh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence. I will not have you two becoming smart mouthed hooligans. Hooligans. But perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's not. What the heck? He's. So, no wonder it's so boring. This is boring. Why do we have to read books anyway? I want to learn how to use a sword. 